Hi there, Green Room fans. This week I'm joined by Panthers forward Oli Betridge. We're stood in the crease and we're going to look straight ahead to the weekend's games in Spain in the Continental Cup. Oli, looking forward to the games? Yeah, I can't wait. We fly out on a Thursday morning to Barcelona, then we get the bus across to Yaco. I think we play the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, can't wait to get going. Obviously, it's going to be quite challenging, you know, with the travel, playing three games in three days. And obviously, the three teams, you know, we don't really know too much about them. I'm sure Corey's done his research on them all. So, it's going to be interesting seeing how they play, see what the rink's like and the travel and everything. Yeah, it should be really interesting. Uh, not, not many of us have played in uh, any games like that before. So, I'm not sure what to expect from the teams. But uh, we've got a few bodies back this weekend. So, I'm sure we'll be going and uh, we'll be fine this weekend. Yeah, I know last time we were in the Continental Cup, it was difficult. You know, we had the tournament here uh, and then we moved on to Asiago and we didn't quite get through. It was a really good game, so it should be fun. Um, we're also going to quickly look ahead to the Edinburgh game, which will be back here the following Saturday at the Motor Point Arena. We haven't played Edinburgh yet, but it looks like they're ever improving side. Yeah, so yeah, they look this year they have a really strong team. I say that every team really. Um, everyone's fighting, ready to go for the year. Everyone seems to be strong. There's no weak team really, so every game you've got to be ready to go really. Yeah, it should be should be a really good game here. Um, and obviously looking back, disappointing result against Belfast at home, but obviously pick up a point was great. We were down a lot of bodies. Um, what did you make of the game? Yeah, really disappointing. Obviously to go out and overtime is never never nice. But um, I thought we had a I thought we had a good game. I thought um, we started off a little slow, but we got together back in the third period. So, um, yeah, I think we're ready to go for Edinburgh and we're coming out flying then. Yeah, I think it almost maybe hurt as they obviously played on the Saturday and we had the day off. You know, it kind of you come out a bit sluggish and, you know, both teams had injuries, so it was quite defensive. Everyone was trying to, you know, save energy. So, you know, I, I don't think that really, really helped us too much. So, um, OK, so we're obviously going to turn our attention to Oli, Oli Betridge now a little bit. Um, how do you think the season's going so far for yourself? Uh, I feel like it's going really well. Uh, I'm playing a lot more than what I was last year and uh, getting some power play time, so it's, uh, it's always good for me and I just hope I keep improving and doing my job. Yeah, obviously you're saying, you know, we're you know, rolling four lines and you know, you're playing really well and you're obviously playing a lot more, getting some power play time. Um, what kind of things have you been working on, like on the ice, to try and keep your game up to that level to ensure you keep playing? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm always working, obviously, off ice in the summer as well, trying to get on the ice as much as I can. But in the years, uh, I'm always like the last guy, last guy off the ice. Yeah. I'm always the first guy on. So I guess I just do a lot of, a lot of work on my own and uh, with a couple other guys as well. Yeah, it always seems like you, me, Henry, two or three yeah. others are always the ones at the end shooting the pucks. Um, how do you see the season on a personal point of view? Like, what's your goals? for yourself like a certain amount of points or is it trophies or is it GB is there anything you like really look for that would make it a successful season for you oh yeah well, I've always got goals I think everyone's got goals including yourself and uh, my goals really is obviously uh, to play the best of my ability and obviously try and get the most ice time I can obviously points for myself is um, if I get them that's fantastic and uh, as long as I'm playing loads and uh, I'm contributing to the team and working my ass off I I'd say that. but off <laughs> but off yeah uh, but yeah, so obviously this year we want trophies, but that's obviously our big goal is to work as a team and uh, pick up trophies together. Cool. Um, obviously, you know, things away from the rink as well. I know you're a keen golfer, you play a lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, Tell us a bit about the golf, anyone you play with, but any other hobbies? I know obviously your girlfriend's a swim swim teacher, yeah, she is. Um, but you know, any other things you do away from the rink? Yeah, sure, she's a way better swimmer than what I am. I obviously. Can't swim, yeah. But uh, no, I play a lot of golf. Uh, played a lot last, this year with Lacquer. But I think like me and Lack have shot a couple of seventy fours and seventy really? so yeah. It only happens once a once a lifetime, but Who who's better out of you and all uh, you and Lacko, sorry? I just seem to hit really hard. It nice. doesn't doesn't seem to go straight, but it goes really you're just, far. Just the golf ball Lacko guy. Lacko, yeah, Lacko's good at the short game. I'll stick to the long game. Uh, just, just one other thing, obviously away from the ice, we both have been coaching at the uh, AJKM Hockey yeah. Barn along with Corey and you know, a few of the other guys. Um, is that something you enjoy, coaching the kids and going down there? Yeah, it's always nice to give something back. Obviously when I was a kid we both started down in Bracknell yeah. and obviously like obviously coaches uh, started from the top, obviously give it to back. So yeah, it's nice. It's always nice to give something back to the younger kids and it's always nice to have a good laugh and uh, they respect you a lot, so it's always nice. Cool. Green Room fans, you won't believe this, but we literally just got kicked off the ice after practice, so now you find... Yeah, for, for, the, for the Zamboni, so you find me and Ollie on the bench here. So last thing I was going to talk to Ollie about, uh, obviously, goal scoring forward, very good shot, tries to score a lot of goals. Um, I just wanted to try and get inside Ollie's head a little bit. You know, when you're coming out, obviously don't give any of your secrets away, but you know, when you're coming down on a goalie, maybe a breakaway or a two-on-one or you're in close. What kind of things are you looking for? Tendencies, things like that? Just close your eyes and shoot. But no, no. Um, try and get the goalie to move, I guess. Um, always try and look. Say if um, he's on one side, obviously you're going to try and hit it off his pad. You're never going to score from near the goal line. I usually just try and shoot. Say if it's a two-on-one, I'll look to shoot it. If I'm not going to try and score, I'll hit it off his pad or I'll make a pass. But you can't really say, really. You just 
Can't just hope. Yeah, you shoot, and obviously you shoot for the open space, and that's try and get the goalie to move as much as you can, and just shoot where it's open. Would you would you look? You know, say we're playing a certain team. Would you look at the notes, see who the goalie is, and already kind of be thinking, or are you just more like I'm just going to try and you know shoot, do my normal thing, and it'll work? Yeah, well, yeah, it depends on what goal it is. Obviously, like if you've got a guy like Mika in the net, obviously uh, there's not much you can do. You just got to try your best. But obviously, depending on what goal, it just depends on how much they can move, how flexible they are, and how much how good they are really. So yeah, I try and do what I do every night, and I just try and keep doing that. Some good advice for you young shooters out there. Um, so last thing I'm going to say here to you guys is uh, from the green room, uh, if you guys have any particular players you'd like to come on or you've got any questions you'd like me to ask the guys, trying to get a bit of feedback. So just tweet into at Panthers IHG with hashtag ask the green room. Hopefully I'll try and get through some of your questions and queries. So if I don't see you in Jacker, uh, I'll see you hopefully here against Edinburgh Motor Point Arena next Saturday. I'd like to just say thanks a lot to Ollie Betcher for joining me. Thanks, Ollie. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next week on The Green Room. Because I'm free like a bird Whether not what I do We all want to be as free as the birds But maybe the birds want to be as free as us The all-new Fiat 124 Spider, more fun than flying. Cause I'm free like a bird.